The real issue here is that most people who have advanced heart failure die without any access at all to supportive palliative care. End-of-life care is poor just now generally, unless you've got cancer, and that's why there's a great inequality. And so this project will allow us to actually address this trajectory of people with organ failure. And lessons from this project can also be applied to people with lung failure, or COPD it's sometimes called, with liver failure, with renal failure, because all these illnesses have a similar type of trajectory or pathway towards the end of life. What often happens in someone with heart disease is they gradually dwindle in their physical well-being for a number of years and have little sort of dips of a, when their heart, they get very breathless, the heart fails, they go maybe into hospital and then they get better again and then continue like this. So we are identifying people when they're admitted to hospital with breathlessness because normally such patients are discharged home and that's the last they see of cardiology. There's no point in, in spending money unless we know it's going to be effective. So this is a pilot study or a trial of an intervention. Some people will get it, others will get it later, and we'll see what the outcome is. And we're evaluating it in different ways, the quality of life of people. People might even live longer, actually, in a palliative care approach, has been shown in some studies. And it might be economically cheaper. So we're looking at these as primary and secondary outcomes. The main thing, I think, is it will make this end-of-life care accessible. And finally, someone, if, someone cheers, if someone's with bad heart failure and breathless, and if someone goes up to them and says, how are you? They'll say, I'm fine. But we teach medical students in Edinburgh to say to that person, you look great today, but are there ever days when you feel a bit down? And most people who've brushed with death, maybe had a heart attack, will say, funny you say that, sometimes, you know, I just feel that I've lost my will to live or whatever. So it's good to actually have that dialogue, and that's the type of dialogue that a project like this will support. Because and ha having had that chat, conversation we can make sensible plans so that the living and then the dying in due course can be planned for.